Maybe I do just film my phone. Boss got that huge pole in front of me. <laughs> That's better. I might need to um, go down a bit. Wow. I didn't realize it was so tall. Maybe if I just do this. No. We'll get you a different chair. We'll get a different one though? Mm, you could go get a dining chair. Much better. I don't know why I thought you needed to be up so high. Is that good height and everything? Yeah. I feel like maybe even. Soft channel. Do you? Peace. <laughs> why did you like that? Why is actually a cute background? Like with yeah. the frame. Hmm. Um. Welcome. We're doing a little get ready with me. Do you, can you see in that mirror? Or do you want me to move it no, over? No, it's a bit? good. It's good. Um, we're gonna get ready for dinner. Molly's currently staying with me because we have the lounge event tomorrow. So I'm showing her the ropes. How we do it around here? We're taking her out to a nice dinner. Got to spoil my lady. Oh, yeah. uh, so fast, so good. With the fam, um, and we're gonna answer some of your questions. I put something on my story saying give me like dilemmas slash like girl talk vibes is what we're going for. Yeah. So we haven't also read any. So well, we haven't read any and. I'm going for. I'm just gonna do my normal glam. Same. Yeah. Okay. Same with me. Um, I do have fake tan on marinating still, which is kind of risky, but it won't rain, so we'll be fine. Um, and I have taken on my face, but I just wiped it off with the makeup wipe. So. Good for you. Let's get into it. Go moisturize. I'm this is such a good moisturizer. Oh, what is it? I didn't really know Laneige did skincare. No, neither. Um, and I've been using all of their stuff like this. I, I never used toner in my life, but I just randomly use this because I feel <gasps> bougie. Toner is so good. Because you like open it and like use yeah, it's like another it step. Yeah, it's like another step. Like, oh, I and then I also know. use like I think serum and really... everything. Oh my god, what the hell? I love the packaging. Yeah. So I'm um, actually look how fucking low I'm. See what the hell? Must be good. Yeah, it is really. I good. use this ASAP one. ASAP. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. It has. Um, Do you have dry or oily skin? Mm, combo. Oh wow! I never yeah. understood that. Does that just mean different it, areas? It yeah, it can. Or, or like, like just I, differs. I think it means like you're sort of in the middle. Okay, yeah. that's my understanding. I'm not really sure. Because I just thought you could, had to be one or the other. Or like I understand if you're like oily and like your T zone. I am a bit oily like dry around here. here. I'm just dry everywhere. Oh, you don't look dry. Really? Mm. Mm. Like I get dry patches. Like dry patches. Um. Okay. okay, let's do a question. Bruh, I swear, where is my shit? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Does girl code exist anymore or am I going crazy? All my best friends have got with my ex-boyfriend that I dated for two years and apparently I'm not allowed to be mad. Mm. <laughs> mm. Two, I reckon you... I would never date one of my friends. Oh, ex. I thought you were going to say I think it's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say I think that's like... She dated him for two obviously years. Obviously, I feel like it's with... It depends on the context. When yeah. you're dating that guy for like she was dating long... for two years. Oh, and this is a recent no, thing. She just her, she just broke up and they were dating for two years. No, like we well, said all. Oh, of her that's that's air. Well, she said all of her friends. I can't be right. What is he fucking Ryan Gosling? Uh, can do you think we read it right? That's literally what she said. She said. Does girl code exist anymore or am I going crazy? All my best friends have got with my ex-boyfriend that I dated for two years oh. and apparently I'm not allowed to be mad. Yeah, all, all her friends. Mm. Oh, maybe maybe they all have just had a hookup. With him. Maybe. maybe he's gonna be a, god. Maybe he's a um player, like a bit of a Maybe like, So you're saying with the whole relationship they're like can't wait to jump on that. I don't I don't I don't know. Okay, let's just assume it's like one or two because I'm thinking like four or five and that can't be real. No, that can't be. Um, um no, I think that's, that's not, not okay. Not okay. Like, that's just what the weird. hell like did Why? you fancy him the whole time? Yeah. And like also like I don't know, I feel like when you break up, even though it can be like a healthy breakup, it's kinda like you always side with the bestie. When, yeah, no matter what. I think... And I feel like also healthy breakups are really rare. So it probably wasn't a healthy breakup. And then you're going and getting with him. Yeah, I think like... I When I put that... I put myself in that position. Mm. There's not anyone... Do you know what I mean? No, like, none of your friends exes that you would even look at. No. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it depends. Like Even if they're attractive though, it's like, oh. You it just depends go also like how close are these friends. Like, are they just people you don't really talk to? Because like, that's not really, really friends. I feel like people throw around the... Word friend. friend loosely. Oh my god, some people are like, oh my friend, and, and I'm like, babe, like, you don't know them. No, 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 like, you're you just don't. in the same area. Yeah, or like, but you know, I've got to give this girl the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, she's a loyal follower. Yeah, I'm not gonna slag her off. Oh no, no but um, no, that's no. fucked. If that is, if that's fucked. Yeah, Sorry. that's like, yeah, that's not on. So in our that would just, how do you even bring that up? Oh, hi, Carla. Hi, Carla and Molly. That's like you and Carla getting with my ex. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, I just got goosebumps. First of all. 
Like, so if you, you, if you did, I'd be like, oh, good luck. Mm. Like, are you okay? Are you mentally and physically okay? Yeah, and get tested. <laughs> get, get tested. <laughs> also, like, ew. Yeah. No, that's not on. Don't write that. No, um, no, no. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an excuse. Yeah, answer the question too. Like, you're allowed girl to be code, mad. I feel like does exist. It like, does exist. I think it's not even girl code. It's just fucking. It's just respect. It's just. Yeah. It's not even like. Oh, I really want to get with him, but girl code. It's like you shouldn't even really want to get with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you I shouldn't agree. have to. You shouldn't have to. No, there shouldn't be an code. option. I no, feel. yeah, exactly. Um, so I feel like girl code does exist. I feel like, especially like at least in my friendships, it does. Well, the thing and is, I like, don't even speak about it because you know none of us do that. Maybe it's it. Maybe it's. I don't know. Maybe it's coincidence that I've never found any of my friends' exes hot, or whether. It, I just don't because yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Well, in my brain, like that would just never be come no. of you know. Neither. I feel like this person's from a small town. They must be because in my small town, I swear everyone it, it, everyone goes to each other because there's no buddy options. Yeah, it's like everyone just rotates, yeah. swaps, <laughs> passes on. Okay, here we go. This is a paragraph. Oh, oh. Obviously, always anonymous. Hey Soph, I need some advice really badly. Okay, so my boyfriend and I have been together for two years now, coming on three years in January. We were really good, obviously had our ups and downs together, blah, 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 as you do. I'm just about done high school, and so next year I'm wanting to move over with my sister in the Gold Coast. This part makes it tricky since me and my boyfriend are completely fine, but since I'm wanting to move, I've talked about it to my boyfriend, but he hasn't really said much. I don't know how I would end the relate. I don't know how I would end the relationship because we're so good, which makes it so hard. But I'm just thinking about what I do personally, and I have things I want to do in my life. I've said to him that I want to move over to the Gold Coast next year, but he didn't say much. Please give me advice. It's really stressful and tricky in my brain. This is hard uh, because that would kill me if so I was much with someone consider. that I loved and they didn't want to move. Would yeah. you just want to move because you love them? But it's like yeah, he could have a really good has, job and, and you his family, just like. like you can't really depend on heart. your relationship. Yeah, like there's so many factors to this. I but feel like both you can do long you know. distance. Yeah, interstate. you could. You interstate's could. not that hard. Oh, but I, I think in. you know what I reckon. You could do long distance because you've already got this base. Three years. Yeah, that, that's a I'm big sure base. Got like I, I totally could after three years. I've never done long distance, so I can't comment. But I feel like interstate is a lot. It's an hour flight. Yeah, it's, an it's hour a lot flight. easier than if he was in America and you were in the UK. Yeah, yeah, but. I, I, I'm not a long distance girl. I'm in relationships. I want to see every night. 100% same with me. I'm not clingy, but I'm just like, I just want to spend, my, I think my love language is quality time. So quality time is obviously hard to do long distance. Uh, you know what I could do? What is your love language? I would, look, I think, I think mine is most words of affirmation. Really? That's my last one. I reckon that's least. because like, if I'm not getting like something verbally and yeah. like someone's not telling like, me, I, 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 or, I, Wow. And like literally like something's off. I like if I'm dating someone I'm like I don't want you to tell me that you I like me. Like I literally tell them I'm like I, I don't want you to do that. Well see I, for me I'm like I want to be told things I wow. think. I think mine's acts of service and quality time. But not acts of service as in like it's just like pick me a flower. Or like if you were driving and you saw a pretty chill look and send me a photo. Or like write me a little note. You know what I mean? Like little things. That's my love language is like right. little things. Like oh, I saw this today and I thought of you so I, I took a I photo or I've like figured mine out because I'm like do I? Because uh, I feel like they're all so important. They are, to but me. words of affirmation is definitely a no, and gifts don't buy me shit. Really? I don't want you to buy me something. I can buy myself it. <laughs> right, right, right. But it's also like, I feel like a lot of my relationships have come from friendships, so quality times, like, we were spending time together and then I yeah. like, liked you, so yeah. quality yeah. time is big for me, though. Like, I just want to be with you and just, like, see if we vibe. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to what were you going to say, sorry, about this girl's dilemma? About oh, you definitely can't um, remember now. oh no no I can't. Um, mm. So is that relationship over? Or well, she's she saying she, she's like I don't even know how it ended because we're so good together. I wouldn't end it. I wouldn't end it. No way. If you're considering ending it, don't. Because it's also like you, at least try. Yeah, at least try. Yep. But it's also what like if you don't even like the Gold Coast and you move back. Or, exactly. And I like, wanted to move there and then I hadn't even been there. And so I was like, I don't need to really go there. Like I know I'll yeah. like it. When they hated it. Yeah. Obviously I'd go there for like, work and I stuff. I feel but. like you can learn a lot about each other through long distance. Because obviously That's that true. long distance isn't going to be forever. So I feel you like can't, it can either make or break you. 
That's how I feel. It'll uh, make I, you I feel like too, because you might realize, oh, I don't actually need this person at all. Yeah, that's true. Or you might be like, shit, I need this person more than I thought. Yeah. Or not even need, and then you but can, appreciate. You can trust them more, etc. because you've been in a harder yeah. spot. Because you could work to make it work, sure. you know? I feel but like you can kind of get lazy and It depends on the person. Like, if they're a bad person, it's going to f you up. Yeah, but then then that's good. Yeah, it's good. Because, because you, know. you don't need them. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's I think, I think you if you're if you're though. I don't think you should stay because of him is what I'm trying to say. If he won't move with you, I think you should still do it because you could break up with this person in yeah. Can I try it? Yeah. Um you could break up with this person in six months and then you didn't move to the Gold Coast and you missed out on mm. whatever opportunity that you didn't even know was there. Yeah. So I think I wouldn't wait for him or do anything for him, but I'm also like kind of like I think I'm too far on the other end of the scale where I'm like very independent like that. Yeah, but like no, I'm very like. I'm fuck him. Do what you want. I, I, I'm the same for sure. Like yeah. you should not change Hold your something heart. Back. Yeah, because you're in a relationship with someone like at at all. Like if you're wanting to do it, like definitely do it. fucking do it because you're not. He gonna, might come visit you and then want to move. Yeah, or you're not. You're not going to be fulfilled. And you're not no, going to be and happy. you're going to resent him because you're going to be at home thinking, like, I'm only here for you. Like, or years to my come. My sister's driving on the fucking If you broke up in five exactly. years, you'd be like, what the hell? What? I should have been fucking moved. So you can't... Because also, you couldn't blame him for that because he didn't make you stay. Yeah. So you can't, exactly. like... You know? He's calling me on WhatsApp. Basically, what I'm saying is, talk to him. Try long distance, maybe. Mm. Even for, like, a month. Yeah. Because there's obviously a point where... You can't do long distance forever and one of you needs to budge. Yeah. And there needs to be compromise. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm assuming... And it might like, work. Maybe long distance will work for you. And maybe you'll realise, I actually don't want to be on the Gold Coast for as long as I thought. Let's just do a year and then I'll move back. Like, mm. you never know. Yeah. I think you should definitely do it if that's what you're feeling. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, she's probably been there if her sister lives there. Because I was going to say, maybe yeah. you won't want to be there, but... Mm. But it's different living there versus holiday. Yeah, that's true. Because holiday, like you're just vibing, you're probably drinking every, like, yeah. you're, you're having, you're like, You're probably fun. going in summer when it's good weather. Yeah, like, what do you do for work? If you work you're probably going Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, literally. So it's completely different. And the people you see online, if you're watching them on social media, they won't, they don't have a 9 to 5 job, so they can no. go to the beach when they want. Exactly. They can do whatever they want, you know. Can I, should I put concealer on that or no? Like, how, I don't know how to do this. Cause just I don't... spot treat it, so don't put a lot on. Just put a really small amount on, on it. And then... Or just do it here and then blend it over it. Well, yeah, you could do that. I don't, I think you just don't put much on, on because... You'll, like, soak in. Mm, yeah. Is that what you meant? Well, I put mine directly on, but that's not okay. But I like spot treat. So it's like a really small amount, so it doesn't look as cakey. Okay. Okay, new one. I like a boy, but I'm not 100% obsessed with him. First of all, I, my first impressions are... You need to be like not yeah. obsessed, but you need to be. No, you, if you're already uh, questioning uh, it and you're not even with him, if it's not a uh, fuck yes, it's a no. Okay, sorry, I interrupted him. And I'm still not sure if I want a relationship at the moment, as I'm happy being single. Good on you. Although if I were to date anyone, it would 100% be him, as I can't really follow anything about him. I'm definitely like sexually attracted to him vibe. I just don't know what to do though. Do I just wait and see if my feelings grow, or do you think it's when you know you know vibe? Like, am I leading him on? This is interesting because. I feel like not really many people talk about this. No. That awkward phase where it's like You don't know. It's not really that much of a dilemma, it's more just like, what should I do? Like it's something yeah. juicy, it's just kinda like what mm. that like everyone's been in this. I've also never before. really been in a position where I'm like, I don't know if I like them or not. Really? Because no, I, I feel like I'm you rather always, know straight away or I, I think I'm always certain like and I think mm. there's people I see. Well she was like I'm definitely still sexually mm. attracted to him, so I think she's saying that she might not be that attracted to his personality, but she still thinks he's really hot. Oh, well then no. So then no. No, I reckon in saying that, I also think it takes a bit of time for someone's real personality to show like maybe he's a bit shy, True. maybe he hasn't actually fully opened up. I need more information, like how many dates have you on this man? We were like Yeah, because if you're not comfortable, you don't know someone's true self, like I feel like... Also, it could be the other way around, too. If it could be the... Could be yeah, e exactly. Like, I feel like even, like, friendship vibes. Like, at the start, when you and I were first friends, like, we are not like we are no. now. We, we would be like, hi, how are you? Literally. Like, yeah. still, like, nice and, like, a bit funny and, like, whatever. But yeah, nothing yeah. like we are now. But I think if you're happy being single, stay single. Because also, there's no pressure to put a label on anything. No, Just neither. that's where things go. I think if... When... If you're single... Like you just said, if you're single, if you just see where things go, you'll know when to put a label on it. Like, yeah. you'll know when to be like, okay, I really like Yeah, you'll, like, you'll want to. You'll want to. That's yeah. so true. If, yeah. If if you don't know, you don't know. If you don't know, like, you should want, you should be like, oh my god, I can't wait for him to ask me out. Like, that's how you should feel. Yeah. So I think you should just keep being single. You know, yeah. I don't think you're when he asks him you, on. you shouldn't. Yeah, as long as you're well, not saying, saying, like, as long as you're not lying to him. You're, if you're, you're saying, yeah. like, yeah, just say to be him, honest. I'm happy being single, like, happy to hang out with you, whatever. 
The easiest thing is just to be really transparent. Just be honest because then he can't throw it back in your face and be like, well, I've just wasted the last few months. And it's like, well, I didn't even I didn't even say anything that would make mm. you believe that I wanted you. Yeah. So, like, I think Molly's right. Like, as long as you're keeping him in the loop with how you're feeling, then you can't really do any wrong. Yeah. Um, but I think if you have been single, fucking stay single. Just an old eyebrow pencil. I mean, brush I can borrow. Spoolie. Um, yes. What would you rate Melb out of 10 for living there? That's funny because you've both lived there, but now one of us does, one of us doesn't. I would say about, uh... 8.5? I'd, I'd say an 8. <clears throat> That's only because personally, I can't, I can't live without the beach. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, no, and obviously no. there is beach, and I never went down to like the nice beaches that I know Melbourne has, but it's true that there is the, beach. The I know beach everyone's gonna be like, "There's beaches," but the body no, they shit suck. compared to they and they're not um, conveniently placed. No, and it's cold there. It's too cold to. I mean, I wasn't really there for, for summer, but even like it's basically winter right now, and we went for a swim this morning, and it was it's hot, like I'm melting. It's freezing in Melbourne. That's the only like downfall. Um, I think it honestly depends on your personality. Like, I feel my friends have been like, oh, I want to move there, and I'm like, you'd be perfect for it. Like, because yeah. I know their personality, and I'm like, I know what you're like. Yeah. And I don't regret moving there. Like, I really liked moving there, and I'm glad I did it. But yeah. I don't think I'd move back there. If I was forced to, I wouldn't be complaining. Like, yeah, I wasn't yeah. like, I was sitting there hating it. I wasn't miserable. I loved living there. Mm. But just it came to a point where I was like, mm, miss my family, miss the beach. I'm out of here. Yeah, 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 for sure. I and I think like that. the year was like a little bit too long for me. Like, I don't, I wasn't even there for the year. I ended up staying there for like nine months. Yeah, the beach thing's definitely an issue. If you're like, really if you're a beach. beach. Whereas yeah. like, growing up, I didn't really have the beach that much. Like, I love it when I go yeah. and I'm obsessed with it. And if I live somewhere, I would go all the yeah. time. But I'm not like, oh, shit, like the yeah. beach. Like, and I still go. It's just not as lost, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it depends what you're, what you're into. Mm. But like I guess Melbourne has it all because I was about to say if you're into more of a wholesome vibe, but Melbourne is wholesome. Like they have cafes, they have good walks. Like yeah. they do have. So I don't really know. Yeah, eight eight point five for me. I love it. Obviously yeah. the weather could be a lot better, but that's kind of yeah. Eight point five is pretty fun good out of ten for somewhere you live. I line up hot paper there and just go. Mm. Mm. I don't do I line up, so I don't. You'd suit it. Oh no 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 no. Um. Okay. Sorry, my question wouldn't fit in the box, but help the help. Am I the asshole? So I live in a share house with my boyfriend and his best friend. The best friend's girlfriend used to live with us, but they recently broke up and she moved out. So they used to be like double dating but living, mm -hmm. but the girlfriend moved out. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I want his room. My partner and I have always had the smaller room and seriously struggle with storage. We can't put our clothes anywhere and it's constantly a mess. The other room has a much bigger wardrobe, built a chest of drawers. Originally, the best friend got the room because it's his parents' house, but we all pay equal rent, and I honestly do all the majority of the housework. And my asshole for wanting the room. I also think it would benefit him to change out of him and his ex's room. I think if it's his parents' house, you can't really... No, you can't. ...be like... Even though you pay equal rent, I feel like it's just like an unspoken, like... Yeah. But I under, I completely understand. Like, he's just, it's just one person now. And they're yeah. still together. This couple's still together. Yeah. I don't think you're the asshole, And I think the other guy should... If that was me, I'd be like, yeah, that completely makes sense. Like, why would I need all that space? But I guess some people aren't really that understanding. Mm. Also, why do you have to be... The asshole, why can't your boyfriend be talking to him? Yeah, like, okay. if, like, why can't your boyfriend be, like, helping you, like, kind of win you over in that sense? Mm, that's tough, because, like, that the... is tough. And I feel like sharing a house with someone, like, oh, like, in situations like this, like, especially when there's four of you, like, that's a lot of different opinions, like, flying around. Yeah. But it's like, I know you pay equal rent, but it's like, if it's his parents' house, it's just, like, awkward. Yeah, so fucking. Because I feel like he, like, he has the right to be like, all right, get the fuck out then, <laughs> even though, like, you're renting it together. Yeah. No, I don't think you're the asshole. I think that's so fair. Because if they have the bigger room and it's just one of them, that's just selfish. That's just stupid. As, like, a friend, I feel like... He should have been like, yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't need it. Oh, I'm happy to give it to you. I would have been like, oh, now that I'm single, like, by the way, like, I probably would have offered it. Yeah. Why do you need to walk in but a built in fucking wardrobe? Like, I also think to myself... And he also that a boy. was my parents. Was yeah, boy. that's true. Well, you have boy. two shirts and a pair of boxes. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. I think the couple should always get like the even when you're traveling, like when my family and all that go to a hotel. Like my sister he, and her boyfriend get the even know, Wait, I think didn't he, know if I heard this part, but does does he even know she's like this way? Like how they can up uh, told him? Maybe he'd be like, Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? I think she has told him. Uh, because she said she said I, I think it would also be benefit to him to change out of him and his ex's room. So she's trying to think of like positives for him too. I definitely don't think you're the I don't Asshole. think you're I think, an I think there's nothing you can really do. Yeah. And it's not the end of the world. It's not the worst problem I have. wouldn't even ask because... I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm too scared and I'm like, oh, yeah. But, like, that makes sense. Everyone needs more. For him to get it out. 
Next. Um, how did you guys become friends? I actually don't remember the first time we met. Do you? Yeah. It was, it was at your 18th. Oh, it was! Yeah, That's I know. the first time I met Carla too! Yeah. I met you guys both on the same day. Wow, I, I thought it was so old would have been in Melbourne. No. And then we had that shoot together like the next day and we were like so shy. Yeah. The next day. It was. Yeah. There you go. It was on my 18th birthday, my bup, boat party that beginning boutique threw me. Oh my god. Great. I met you and Carla, and I first thing I remember was thinking Carla was so tall. That's just the first really? thing I remember. Really? Yeah. And I, we talked about it, like, we said we like the same height and stuff, but I don't know. Usually I'm just taller than everyone. Most, well, I'm not, I'm not that tall, but like, usually no, I'm taller are. than people I meet. Compared to like everyone most else. Most girls. Yeah. Um, I remember being like, fuck yeah. I remember thinking, like, obviously she's stunning. It's weird because. If someone's tall, I don't notice someone's tall. Really? Like you and Carla. You don't really notice. If you ask me like on the yacht, oh, how are you and Soph and Carla the same height? Like, yeah. No way. Like I just don't notice people's tallness unless it's like tallness. a really tall guy or something. Or like, unless someone's like crazily tall that yeah, I can yeah, really notice. Yeah. Like if they're like six, three and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I remember you came with Alex, right? I came with... I look here and yeah, Alex. Up together. And Carla too. Oh, I don't remember. I think. Maybe you and Alex were close because I feel like you and Alex were together for a lot of the night. Yeah. Well, Alex and I, that's where we became friends. Did you, were that's you friends first before time? that? No. Wait, what? No. I so thought you guys were like close. No. At that time. That's the first time we met and we only thought of each other because of us going to that. Yeah. I could have sworn you guys like best friends. No, like, we, hit off, just, we like. hit it off that dark like, night. Like, you guys were talking a lot. Go to Yochi order. We're going to Yochi tomorrow night. Oh, I love this question. Yeah, great question. You go. I think, um, Roll my... Rolling the dud order. No, mine is so good. The signature task, Obby, if you don't get that, like, literally what is going on. Um, sometimes I have to run some caramelized bananas in there. Okay, don't We literally have the opposite order. Um, strawberries... Any other fruit, I feel like Oreo, crumble on top, like the Milo looking stuff, and then I'll put Nutella. Okay. I hate that from you. Really? Because I think that's the best order in the world. Okay. I'm getting, if I'm going in and I see Tara, I'm beelining straight for the Tara. And this I don't understand what ta opinion. what's Tara? It's a, Tara is a potato, which tastes nothing like potato. Why well, did I just say like potatoes, potatoes, babe? You do. Love potatoes. Your mum told me today that you didn't like them. Mashed. Oh, mashed. Um, and that's only because my sister was an idiot. Um, Thank yeah, you. unpopular opinion. Everyone goes, ew, Tara, I bet you haven't even bloody tried it. Or to all the people that say ew, Tara, that is no, but it's a potato and steer clear. Right. But it's so yummy. If they, if they have it tomorrow, I'm going to make you try it out of my bowl. Okay. If they don't, salted butterscotch. Salted butterscotch oh, is the best. Yeah, I, I had that from you the other night. I'm trying to get this with my dogs. I had it from you um, the other night. But I, I'm like a, I'm like a few flavor girly. I you really are? just get one, yeah. Oh, sometimes I do, and then I always regret it. I get like salted butter scotch, chocolate, and like cookies and cream, or like taro. I always get I it. Never and have taro. I've never seen it. I always uh, like whenever I no. To be honest, I always do add different things, and then I always every time think to myself, why did flavors. I add a different flavor? Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't picture just getting one, especially freaking signature. Oh, so you're just the fucking best. I've never tried it, but... Oh, and you're saying... I just haven't tried it. But I'm like, is so. it just plain? Is it just vanilla? No, it's it's like... It's not vanilla. There's a vanilla flavor. Oh, I it's, thought it was just vanilla. Just, it is more plain, That's but it's like, like yum. I thought it was literally just straight vanilla. No, it's like... It's, it's more yummy. Than I, I do... Okay, sorry. And then I get straws. Um. Oh, yeah. straws is a must. Straws, mini M&M's, chocolate oh. chips. See, I hate cold chocolate. I hate the chocolate out. pieces in ice cream or frozen yogurt. Why? Because they're hard and you can't even taste them. I can taste them. No, they're hard and taste like cement. You can't. <laughs> I can, and they're yummy. And I get them, and I get mini M&Ms, and then I get, which is not gluten-free, shut up, bitch. I'm going to watch this. It's not live. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I get, which is not gluten-free, that chocolate cookie brownie that they have. Just a brownie with chocolate chips in yeah, it. Yeah, oh, that's actually lit, yeah. It's, so, it's not gluten-free. Uh, you know what I don't sick, like from them? That I thought I would love the cookie dough. Oh, like the one you can add as a topping? Yeah. I've never Why got it. Why is it, it bad? Looks like to me. Why is it bad? Because normally cookie dough is like nice and chocolate. Why is it bad? 
Tell me that. Yo Riddle me that, Yochi. Mm, yeah. Um, why is it like sloppy? Oh, like, never, I've just looked at it and been like, that looks sus. It looks like um, it looks like no, cool. raw egg in it. Literally, that's it how I feel. It is raw cookie dough, but like, okay, it but like grosses normally me raw out. cookie dough looks a bit different to that. Yeah. Like, it's too smooth. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my question mm. because like normally I love cookie dough and I'll add it in. Mm. But no, so you know, someone get on their story the other day. Is that what you saw? That reminds you of it? No, I think I got it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I, yeah, I did see something. And they were scooping it? Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh. yes. And also... It was like, wouldn't even break apart? I oh, love like, adding the mochi as well, I forgot to say. No, I can't do that. I, I also don't like lollies, mochi. though. Mochi? It's like lolly to me. It's not like anything like this, sweet. Ask the... Ask the girls. girls. Um, what else do I need a door? Okay. a new lip liner that I really like. It's Whirl by MAC. Whirl's good. It's oh, a bit too for pink for me though. Oh, I kind of like the pinkiness. Do you pinkiness. like pink? Yeah. Well, I, I like more of a brown. Like see, that. I, I do normally, but when I switched this up the other day, I was kind of like... Yeah, you have really nice lips though, so I feel like you can suit a lot of like colors. <laughs> Thank you. The shape's already there. Again. So many of that. You know who. Oh, that's not who I was referring oh. to. I thought what you were say... Oh, no, no, no one's mentioned that name in ages. No. Like, r irrelevant. Right. Completely irrelevant. Yeah. Which is so good to me because, like, so that means people don't actually care. It was just they were asking at the time because they wanted to know the tea, which, fuck off. Yeah. But, uh, no, literally haven't had that in ages. That's so good. And that's so like, nice. Wait. <laughs> oh, no, this is really bad. This is you. Me? I need advice. My roommate who I share a bathroom with keeps leaving shit marks or completely <laughs> unflushed poops. And I don't know how to bring it up to her. Molly clogged the toilet. Today oh, it's flashing battery. Uh, today I did clog the toilet. We'll just film on this if it dies, but... Um... Can I, can I say that? It's okay that you clogged the toilet. Yeah, it's fine. It happens, it's natural. Oh, it happens, and it's actually happened to me when I was younger. So, it must be me. Um... You've just got to bring I'm, it up I'm as not, a joke. I'm not going to say how, Not um, you, but... How, how we fixed it. How we fixed it, no. I'm not going to discuss that, because it's probably going to get taken down. It's that brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a war zone in there. Um, you just have a lot of screaming. You just have to ring it up as a joke, I feel. Just be like, bro, what? Yeah, you like leaving all that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just walk in and be like, woo! Like, just make it like funny. A few times, and yeah. then they'll be like, ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. See. You okay, we're on the phone. I also like to add a like, little disclaimer that there was a lot of toilet paper in there before. Yeah, it wasn't I your poopy. Your poopy didn't clog it. 100%. No, no, my poopy didn't clog it. Was just it. The, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> it was the fucking. It was the last straw. It was a really thick metal straw. Uh, you just gotta make it a joke, I feel. I feel the same. Oh, I could never share a bathroom. Oh, I'm so messy. If anyone had to share a bathroom with me, they would. Mm. I just like my own things in my bathroom, my own skincare. Yeah. I like to know no one's using my skincare. Yeah. I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like. Mm. You get it. The girls that get it. No, I don't. Kylie's not that pigmented. I've gone over like 84 times. What is it? Kylie. It's a new one. No, P. Louise. Mm. I like the shade, but yeah, I've been going good. over so many times. I never do my hair. Do you have a hair tie? I can just like. Mm. Use this one. Oh, you don't want form, do you? Oh, no, I don't care. I can just... I'm gonna do mine. Did you um, need this? No, I've got another one. I forget. Um, if not, that one's good. But it's pink. Hmm, I don't know what to do about this. Your friend is shitty. <laughs> Tell her to get off the dairy. <laughs> the skid mask is fucked. Like, I get not flushing. Sometimes I'm guilty of that. I don't know if you've noticed. No, yeah. You and Carla both are. You oh, and okay. Carla, Carla and I are all throughout Europe. Bro, every time I go in there, it's just... You wouldn't leave, like... Skiddies. Bad. But, like, just, just wouldn't flush. And they just do toilet paper. Like, it's not like you have to say anything, but... I was kind of fucked. Maybe she just doesn't realise. Maybe it's well, broken. Maybe she thinks the same about you. Oh. Your poos are coming up. Molly's trying to defend herself for her poopy in my toilet. Yeah. Because like, I just go on my to I just go on my phone. I like, am even on the toilet, and then I just get up and go, and I for like forget that I even do went to the toilet just then. But, like, it can't. It can't be intentionally. If it is intentionally, you have. That can't be intentionally. Yeah. Yeah. If that is, then she, and that's she a, hates you. A random way to leave to to a be food. I hate that. Like, do you know what you're wearing? Because 
Like I have something basic, like I can just wear my Skims bodysuit, worst comes to worst. You don't know where that corset? Why? Um, girl Oh yeah, but like I don't know what pants I'm gonna wear. What about your black jeans? My hair's too high. I love it. I love you in a high bond. I have like I I don't have full black jeans. I could wear like my. Oh, Wait, don't you have your black pair of pants? Yeah, but they're like completely different color. I feel like that was look oh, left. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love those do uh Dior heels. Yeah, they broke. Oh. Yep, one of the heels snapped off, so I can't wear them. Get them repaired. Got them from Dana Foley. Get them repaired. I will, because they were so worth it. And like with jeans in winter, like nothing compares to that. I was like, oh my god. When I seen those, I was like, what the hell do I want them so bad? Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Mm -hmm. Okay, my boyfriend is going to a party without me. Mm -hmm. And he's going with his... Oh, well, his ex is going to be there. Feeling okay. jelly. No, she's she feeling jelly, yeah. First of all, why are you not going? Second of all... You should trust him. Yeah. It shouldn't even be a question. Mm. Yeah. I think... Um, what has he done to make you feel like that's not going to go down well? Not, not that I don't... Not that I think that there should be tests. But in but situations this like this, yeah. it's like... This stuff actually needs to matters, happen. Like, yeah. Also, you can't control anyone. They're going to do whatever that, You're so right. You need to whatever they want to do. Yeah. So if they are going to do it, it's actually a blessing in the size. Because you do not want to be with that person. So, like, if he does, if he did anything, which, like, he probably fucking won't. Catch porn. Yeah. Like, not all exes just see each other and jump all over each yeah. other. Like, oh, he's ex going to be there. around like, exes. Like, exes don't Obviously, if, if, you know, sure, that can happen. But, like, I don't yeah. really have a problem with exes. No, neither like, do I. they're with you. Yeah, 100%. And I, be with them. I've, I've never had an issue with an ex. No, if my partner was like, my ex is going to be there. I'd be like, okay. I'd be like, lit. Cool. And because... It actually makes me feel a lot more secure because I'm only with someone if I really trust and them. And if he's telling you, that's kind of good. Well, if you yeah, to, yeah. find out from someone else. Oh, I'm going to do a bit of inventory. Setting spray, 20 bucks. Slow. Do you like that one? Because when I first I don't know yet. To you, we haven't tried it. Yeah, this is the like second time I've tried it and I don't really know. Because mm. I don't really understand what, what, what it's meant to do. Yeah. Do you just feel like it lasts longer or you haven't noticed yet? I feel like you have to use it for a while to know. Yeah, I think so. Um... But yeah, like I'm, I'm me personally, like if I am with someone, like I fully trust them. So like situations like this and don't should, make me you should fully jealous. Trust them. Yeah. Um, not that it's not normal to feel that way because it is. A lot of people feel that way. Like most my friends would, I feel. Yeah. Um, but it's just it will make you feel it's more secure. It'll in go. The long it'll be run over run by too. the time you even know it. Yeah, I think it's normal to feel jealous though. Not, I don't think jealous is the right word. It's just like a bit like... A little bit uncomfortable. Like, why, why would you be jealous? What are they going to do that's going to make you jealous? You know what I mean? You need to actually fully talk, think through your head what is actually making me sounds like, anxious. It sounds like they're young because it's a party. Yeah. I thought that like year nine. Yeah, and because I remember, to be honest, in year nine, that's exactly how I felt. Yeah. Like, I yeah, remember... That's, that's how we should think of it. Then. Yeah, yeah. In year nine, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I remember when I was in year 10 and I was dating this guy mm. and like every time he'd go out to like a party or out, yeah. I literally would wake up every yeah. half an hour and check my Snapchat and <gasps> stories because no. I, was, I was so jealous, but yeah. like I couldn't say anything. Yeah. But I was like, oh, you know what it's I mean? It's also like, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say why no, you're not going because it's really good if you have different friend groups and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good test. I, I, I don't understand when people girls or boys have like these boundaries and these rules to to be like you can't do this you yeah. can't do that if they want it's to like, do them, then let them and don't let them let them f up then yeah exactly at least they'll show their true colors exactly. and also at the end of the day you're not you're not there to parent it. someone either you can't prevent it if they want to if they truly want to they're gonna yeah. find a way around your like little rules and they're exactly. just gonna break them exactly like, that's so true so you just talk to them guys <laughs> let's boycott so far She's actually the worst friend in the world, so I'm actually not here as a friend, I'm here to ruin her life. So, yeah, let's see what's in her makeup bag. Oh, uh. <laughs> I literally just said dirty as I picked up this brush, then you came here and burped. Oh, is that dirty? It's my blush brush, I use it's my cream blush brush, so obviously it's mm. gonna have cream blush all over it. Looks like it was in the toilet before. Do you wash your brush? How often do you wash your brushes? Oh, not enough. I don't think I've ever washed mine. That's all I have. Probably like twice, and I've had them in like two years. I only wash mine like maybe every like 
eight months, I reckon. Yeah, me too. It's so bad. Me too. But I'm um, like, under, like, once a week, though, like, fully washed. Yeah, same. I rinse it every day. Same, because it's actually satisfying as. And it doesn't work as well if it's dirty, whereas brushes, you can get away with it. Yeah, and yeah. I actually feel like brushes, brushes work better when you've... That's how I needs. feel. I've had this new brush, and, like, the my old have. brush, that was, like, shit, same, same, um, same one and everything. That one was so much better. Mm -hmm. But now it's starting to be better the more I use it. Yeah. Oh. Puppy, can hey, you come say hello? Come say hello. Why are you cranky, girl? Come up. She's just sitting there. She's so cute. Hi, baby. <laughs> say hi to the ladies. Oh, she smells so good. She does smell good. Little day spa queen. Little day spa queen. I love you. Mm, baby. What's the time? It is. Oh, okay. it's such a good time. We got half an hour to get dressed. I love that. Oh my god, why does she look so cute right now? Oh, look at her feet. <laughs> they do have little bunny rabbit feet. I didn't know you had those shoes. Fendi ones? Mm. Yeah, I think I've worn them once. <laughs> They're very random. Yeah, I love them though. They're like a coat and tight in the winter. Yeah, true. I can't wear like them with like jeans beach. or something. Yeah. Well. Um. I'm gonna do a bun. Yeah. Or a plait. Bun, I reckon. Sometimes I hate a bun on me though. Really? Oh. I I hate a bun on me when it's that height. But oh. you and Carla do it, and it looks so good. But you you have one high right now. You mean like this awkward high? This height. I literally look like a librarian. If it's this height. Yeah, boy, I look horrible when I do it like that. I've tried because I, I every, you do, you everyone know. else looks so good and I look silly. horrible. Yeah. No, I'm not you're being, being silly. You're silly. Silly, really? That's the best brush in the world. Oh, how good is it? I just re it's so been sitting good. on my windowsill behind my blinds. So good. And I just re it today. I take it everywhere. It's so freaking good. Jay self. Okay, thanks for getting ready with us. I hope you enjoyed. We really answered hope you got some well. tips, but... I've actually done for a while. Yeah, um, we should do this more often. We should FaceTime again. Oh my god. Skype call. Can you hear me? Testing. <laughs> and we were talking over each other. We can't give up. Well, that's great for good luck. Love you, girlies. Love you so much. Rock on. <laughs> Stay hot. Stay tight. Just keep, keep in touch. touch. <laughs>